So whilst that was the main dashboard, we can actually move down to the left-hand side here and pick on specific things like, for example, reports. Um, we can go and look at detailed reports by extension, by cost center, department, division. Let's go and look by extension and uh, we'll look at calls for today. So we'll set the start date as the same date as today and uh, the end date, uh, again, we'll look at um, the same date. Uh, 16th of February and uh, we'll look at the calls on extension uh, 212 for argument's sake and we'll run that report okay so we can now go to the next page so this is a detailed list of all the calls made and received by that particular extension and uh, you could have several pages of that pretty much every report you could possibly wish to run if you wanted to run a, a report of say the costliest calls of the day the costliest calls of the day by extension by department uh, the longest calls reports on how quickly calls are answered by staff if they're inbound calls this is quite a useful one we've got one here DDI reports so we can actually go and look at which D DDI numbers are the most popular DDI numbers actually we haven't even put any here but it will tell us oh yeah we are we have we've got two um, one of our DDI is ending in 006 telling me how many calls were offered how many were answered and uh, the responses and average talk call time talk time average answer time and um, so on so we've got lots of statistics available sort of things that people use this for they might use it to see whether they've got the amount, correct amount of outside lines, whether they've got too few or whether they've got too many. It tells you when you need to be ordering some more outside lines. It gives you the sort of information that you'd need to offer to your customers in terms of your call answering times. Very, very useful for policing staff who are making outbound telesales calls if you want to find out who's making the least calls and furthermore help them by explaining why they're making the least calls usually down to the fact that their average call length is longer than that of their colleagues very very useful tool Samsung CMS software uh, the other thing that you can do within Samsung CMS software is look at voice recording one of the things you can add to Samsung CMS is the VR option VR standing for voice record this is basically where we record all calls that are taking place on your outside lines, be they outbound calls or the being calls that you've received. So you can use the CMS software to set up filter options. So I'm going to press a button here called filter options. If we look by extension, so I'm just going to type an individual's extension in here and we should now be able to view a list of calls made or received by that extension today okay having found a list of calls answered or made by that particular extension you can go and click on any particular call and you can listen to that call um, let's go and look at this one for example if we choose play it opens up the little Samsung VR player Okay, so that allowed me to go back and find a particular call and play that call. The other thing I can do with that call is I can email it to somebody. So if I right click on that call and I choose email, now inviting me to enter an email address of who I'd like to send this call to. Obviously you need an e email client on the machine that you're sending this from, but a very, very useful tool, particularly to those in an industry where they need to record all their calls certainly stops any disputes or arguments once you can point out to somebody what they actually did say in a particular conversation because often people might uh, interpret a conversation the way they'd like to interpret it rather than what actually happened so it certainly stops a lot of arguments Samsung CMS is something we discount at the full level it's available on our website the Samsung VR we do discount this as well but not by the same percentage although I will say Samsung CMS VR software is much cheaper than that of other manufacturers and it furthermore it is held in a non 
editable file format so that it is admissible in a court of law. So the sort of professions that we see using this are people in financial services, uh, people in the medical world, and uh, indeed we have it here in our own office.